know you didn't mean to hurt me. <laughs> you shouldn't have done that! Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're looking at the craziest limited edition items in the world of video games. Whether they're bad or good, one thing's for sure, they're definitely surprising. All of this is a simulation inside our minds. And you got a long way to go. But before we get into it, we publish new content all week long. So be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. The Cheeky Controllers, Deadpool and Wolverine. Make a wish, buddy. We've seen some odd controller designs in our time, and these are just plain silly. In celebration of the release of Deadpool and Wolverine, Microsoft partnered with Marvel for a sweepstakes. Those who entered had the chance to win a Deadpool-themed Xbox Series X, but clearly the standout item to win, in terms of weirdness, is a controller that features the Merc with a Mouth's butt on the back. Yeah, boy. And if you find his rump just a bit too voluptuous, you're in luck, because it's also detachable. Microsoft's designers didn't stop there. Not long after Deadpool's cheeky controller was revealed, Wolverine also got one designed in a similar fashion. Very strange, but honestly, pretty standard for this particular character. You don't just stand there, you ape. Give me a hand up. Nope, I'm actually okay. Thank the Baby Pod, Death Stranding. Makes me feel like shit every time. From the moment we knew about it, everyone could tell that Death Stranding was going to be one of the weirdest games ever made. And it was. One of its more out there elements were bridge babies, unborn children that characters carried around in a pod that could warn you of enemies. Players who wished to continuously bask in Hideo Kojima's strange creation could do so with the collector's edition. It came not with a figurine of its main character in a cool pose, as so many do, but with a life-size baby pod. It also lights up so your plastic infant could shine brightly in all of its disturbing glory. Ruckus the Singer, Rage 2. Rage 2 may have come and gone with little fanfare, but one limited edition item tied to it we'll never forget. Ruckus the Crusher, voiced by musician Andrew W.K., is a half-dead mutant that gives players access to a world event. He isn't in the game much, which is why it's weird that the collector's edition chose to focus on him. It's not some type of figure either. It's a wall-mounted head of Ruckus that sings when activated like some type of twisted big mouth Billy Bass. Rage 2 is a fine enough game, but we can't imagine someone liking it so much as to hang this ugly mug up on their wall. I can't crush no more, but I can sing. Super Condoms, Infamous Second Son. This is not your problem to fix, it is mine. Oh, Pre-orders and special editions for Infamous Second Son came with the expected bonuses, like extra missions, pins, and even protagonist Delson's beanie. However, if you lived in Italy at the time of release and chose to pre-order at GameStop, you would have gotten something rather unique. Italian players were given a box containing two Red Bulls as well as glow-in-the-dark condoms, with marketing calling it a fill of energy for an explosion of pleasure. It's hilarious to us that Sony would give these out, let alone make them glow in the dark, which just adds to the absurdity. It's understandable why this wasn't included in the US, since it probably would have only made for another talking point about how games are corrupting our children. Hey, don't go down that road. A crate of goodies. Enemy Zero. Laura, when you have a problem, come directly to me first. There is only one person who understands you, and that is me. Released for the Sega Saturn in the mid-90s, Enemy Zero is a mostly forgotten horror adventure game that had one of the most insane limited editions we've ever heard of. It was an actual crate, exclusive to Japan, of which only 20 were made at around $2,000 a pop. These were also hand-delivered by the game's director, Kinji Ino. As curious as that is, this edition also came with some bizarre items. 
Among the traditional things, like a t-shirt and stickers, there was a model of an enemy's corpse that oozed bodily fluid. But perhaps the weirdest inclusion is the full leather outfit worn by Booth Girls to promote the game at the 1996 Tokyo Game Show. The Trance Vibrator, Rez. The PS2 version of the rhythm rail shooter Rez made great use of the system's controller. But if the DualShock 2's rumble just wasn't enough for you, a limited edition item was released that gave you extra vibration. The trance vibrator was producer Tetsuya Mizuguchi's idea to give players a grander experience, since the controller really only allowed you to feel the game in your hands. Of course, we know exactly what perverted thought is going through your mind because it went through everyone else's, even Mizuguchi himself. While it wasn't his intention, the trance vibrator was designed to be placed on any part of your body, and he would later admit that it could be used sexually if one were so inclined. The Mini Fridge Call of Duty Black Ops 3 The doctor was the only one who knew about the forest. Taylor was obsessed, we all were. The Call of Duty franchise has seen some crazy limited edition items, like a pair of night vision goggles for Modern Warfare 2. However, as weirdly cool as that was, those still fit with the series. For Black Ops 3, the Juggernaug edition came with a mini fridge themed after the cola machines you can find in-game. This was no model, though. It was a fully functioning kitchen appliance packaged in with a video game. The edition cost around $200, coming with a few extra goodies, but it was completely surprising to come boxed with a fridge and one of such high quality as this. <laughs> a sensual mouse pad. Record of Agarest War. <laughs> This tactical RPG received middling reviews when it was first released. One of the most memorable things about it, at least for the importance of this list, was a special edition made for the Xbox 360 when the game came to the US. Titled the Really Naughty Limited Edition, strange considering the T for Teen rating, this boxed set included a mouse pad with the character Vera Lore. Only, her breasts acted as a cushion you could rest your wrist on. As over the top and ridiculous as that is, which is quite, this wouldn't be the last time this would happen. Collector's editions of Dead or Alive Extreme 3 did the exact same thing. Going for accuracy. Resident Evil 7. What am I gonna do with a knife? Resident Evil is another series known for surprising limited edition items. Any of you still have your Resident Evil 4 chainsaw controllers that were a nightmare to play with? Well, Capcom outdid itself for RE7, giving out items that accurately represented the disgusting location it takes place in. The collector's edition came with a USB stick modeled after a severed finger, a strange if not delightfully macabre design. The main selling point, however, was a large music box replica of the Baker House, which played the game's version of the folk song, Go Tell Aunt Rhody. If you really wanted to immerse yourself, Capcom also released candles that smelled like the Baker House, which is to say, not very good. <laughs> Zombie Bait, Dead Island Riptide. You may have command over Palanai, but on this ship, I'm in charge and I have my orders. Over a decade later, and we're still confused as to who thought this would be a good idea. The second game in the zombie survival horror series, Dead Island Riptide failed to set itself apart from the many others in its genre. One thing it did do differently, however, was include the bikini-clad bust of a woman's mangled torso in its limited zombie bait edition. Not only would this be an extremely bizarre thing to have on display in your house, but it sparked a wave of outrage. From those who were simply grossed out to others who called it upsettingly misogynistic, it pretty much pissed everyone off, prompting publisher Deep Silver to issue an apology. Don't sweat me, understand? Now how do I get to Henderson? Know of any other insane limited edition video game items? Luckily our goods are in perfect condition. Well, you did keep us waiting, but everything else seems to be in perfect order, so 
Let us know about them in the comments, and be sure to subscribe to Mojo Plays for more great gaming videos every day.